I'm in it to win it, baby, with God. That's the most important factor. And I don't want you guys to forget it. We need God in our lives. I'm realizing that more than ever now. This month of June, I've dedicated to going deeper with God. The fasting that I started with the Muslim, let me tell you, it's on. I'm going to continue it. More appointments with God, more conversations with God. Oh, God, what do you want? Where do you want me to go? What would you have me to do in this situation? God, what would you have me to say? Every moment in the 1,000 decisions I make every day, I want to include God. And guess what? I want to bring you along with me. I had a really good uh, conversation with someone today. God just told me to talk to her. And I asked her about a recent major decision that she made. And I'm like, did you include God in on that major decision? She says, no. I said, do you see what happens when you don't involve God? Because the whole decision didn't turn out to be good. So I said, it's, no, it's not too late. I say we need to get God involved in all of our decisions and so I said you have to wake up early you got to have appointments with God you're gonna set your alarm clock you're gonna have uh, appointments with him during the day at the end of the day and these appointments with him just teach us about his way for our lives he doesn't want us conforming to the world and what the world says no I need us tapping into what God has to say because he has the best plans for our lives. Like today, I'm filled with such joy because my videographer, Ember, not only is she coming to work with me today, which I'm so excited and thrilled about, but I'm so full of joy thinking about this awful period that I've been through and how my daughter, Ember, has shown up for me to be with me and to help me through a rough period of time. And honestly, she told me the other day that this quarantine has brought us closer together and I'm so in agreement with her. So much more love for her, so much more love for, and I have to tell my daughter, Julie, too, thank you. So many people came to my support and so that just left me with extra joy that I'm not going through life alone, not due to what, only do I have God with me, and I remembered now who I am and whose I am. Okay, Amber, let's not forget that. Who we are. We're God's girls. We belong to him. We're going through life like this with God. He's our protection. He's our guidance. He's wisdom. He's power. He's strength. He's everything. So we cannot forget who we are in him. No matter if the world rejects us, we know that Papa God is madly in love with us. Okay, Em? That was the message of yesterday's post when he was singing to me through Justin Bieber's song, Intentions. He said, gorgeous, drop dead, you're a killer, Nick. You know? And that's how he feels about each and every one of us. But we have to tap into his love and his approval so we don't try to get it other places. So that's where I was going wrong, and he just used this whole thing to just renew my mind, to recalibrate my life and renew my life so I could get back focused on the path that he has for me, guys. So I don't want us missing out on this great, these great plans that God has for us when we were born by not listening to him. That's the biggest mistake we can make, guys. Our greatest strength is knowing that we are God's children and he is walking with us in every moment. And just learning the values that he would have us, of the people he would have us to be, values like integrity and faithfulness and love and patience. You know, that's what he's doing. He's transforming me in these appointments with him. So Amber, don't miss out. Did you have an appointment with God today? Uh, she's just looking. Hello, my sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. More appointments with God. I'm going to be after you even more now. Your mom is all hyped up about God after everything I've been through. And you know, and, and one of the appointments he said to me, he said, Nick, thank me for this situation. And at that time, I couldn't thank him. But now I'm officially going on record and saying, God, thank you. Thank you for the terrible experience that woke me up to the reality to remember who I am. I'm your girl, God. And I'm going to be rolling with you 
24 7 and i'm gonna take the rest of the world with me to tell you guys don't miss out on the best life a person who made that mistake and making that big decision without talking to him i think it was a valuable lesson so we're turning all of our losses and mistakes into valuable lessons and moving forward with god that we're in it to win it with him baby success will follow us everywhere we go because we're trusting god our hope is in him our future is bright baby because we're trusting god allowing him to direct us on the great light on the path of the great life that he has for us so i'm looking forward to my future with such joy am are we going to nyu new york oh okay it's changed to new york now okay your mama is with you to support you to help you by the grace of god and you're going to be all that god has called you to be and i have to say one more big shout out to my sister marilyn ah oh, what would i have done without you my sweetie you've been holding my hand and sorry for venting to you so many times thank you for being there for me and supporting me especially my mom is here with me and Mar marilyn has been my my support to help me whenever I have a little situation I can call and say, Rara, this is what's going on now. And she's always, always, always available to me. Such faithfulness, such kindness, such love. You reflect to the world, my Marilyn. So I want to tell the world, we need to be more like you. More loving like you. More kind like you. So thank you again for being there for me. And everybody else who's been there for me. God, you just opened my eyes to all the beauty that surrounds me. I have all these people who love me and are there for me. My sister Verona, my sister, Kel my sister Kelly, my daughter, my mom. Amber, am I missing anybody? You said daughter, daughters. My daughters. My daughters, Julie and Amber, let me tell you, they rose to the occasion for the mama. Our fierce babes alliance is strong and healthy they finish off the year all a's baby they did college level classes while still in high school they made the national honor society amber is my driver she's learning work she's teaching her work julie's on her path to greatness reading all these books about gandhi and everything super proud mama here i spoke to the boys today i told them every day that i'm having my coffee i will be calling them and we will be having appointments with god mama not playing i want everyone closer to god because he knows what he's doing with us even the things that are meant to harm us guys god will turn it around and he will use it for my for our good okay duro i have an audience guys an audience of duro and amber and I'm very proud of him because he made a big decision the other day. And he said, Auntie, I went to God and I asked him what I should do. I'm very, very proud of him to hear that from him. So keep going, Dura. I know God has great plans for you too. I don't know if you want to come to New York with us. Let us know. And we will include you. That's where he was born. You were born in New York. So who knows the plans that God has for all of us. So let's reach our maximum potential. Even Julie is on this Devon inspired betterment of ourselves. We're giving up junk food for 30 days. So anything that's holding us back from being our best selves that God is what have us to be. We need to get rid of it, throw it out. This is a new month, another half of the year to go. Let's make it great, guys. 